So carrying on with linear patterns, we've looked at how to find the rule, we've now been able to plot it. Uh, and keep in mind that advice I was giving you about when to use dots and when to use the line, that will make a difference for you between oops, between a merit and an excellence um, and an achieved on a graph question. So make sure you understand that. Ask me more if you've got questions on that, but you'll see that in the example problems as well. Um, so the next thing we're going to be asked to do is probably to use our rule. So let's remind ourselves what it is. Our rule was n is equal to 2p plus 1. So a couple of things that are important here if they're asking you to calculate with the rule, and that is make sure you show you are working. Um, and that's regardless of whether you're using a calculator or doing it by hand. So show working. And here you need to specifically show your substitution. So replacing a variable with a number and calculating what it's going to be. So if I asked you, if I make the tenth pattern, how many matchsticks are needed? So here, you could just start counting up, adding two until you get to the tenth pattern and see how many you need, but let's be smart about this and use our algebra for it because that's what they want to see for the full credit. So the tenth pattern, is that P or is that N in your rule? It's going to be one of the two variables, and in this case, that means that p is equal to 10, my 10th pattern, because p is my pattern number. Again, if you go back up to what we were talking about originally, p stands for the pattern, and n stands for the number of matchsticks. So for the 10th pattern, p is equal to 10. How many matchsticks do I need? That means they're looking for me to find n. n is equal to how much? So to show my substitution, I'll take my rule. n is equal to 2p plus 1, and I'm going to do my substitution. So instead of writing p, I'm actually going to say 2 times 10, because I want to examine when p is equal to 10 for the 10th pattern. So this is what I mean by showing my substitution. I'm showing that I'm using my rule by going 2 times, replacing the p with a 10, and then plus 1. So 2 times 10 is 20, plus 1 is 21. And don't forget your units match sticks. Um, and use units. Important reminders for you here. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, if we look at another example here, like they'll ask, if I use 29 matchsticks, which pattern did I make? So in this case, 29 matchsticks, is that inner P? That's N is equal to 29. That's the number of matchsticks. And which pattern that you're looking for? That's P that you don't know. So again, you can start with your rule. N is equal to 2P plus 1 and think about replacing the variable that you know, which is the n. So I'd say 29 is equal to 2p plus 1. And again, for both of these, you can probably leave the rule written there above if you want. I'm just trying to show what I mean by that substitution. So 29 is equal to 2p plus 1. Well, um, feel free to just, let's use our algebra for this. We can solve this equation. We can solve to figure out what p is equal to. But if that's challenging for you. There's another way to do this on the calculator as well, and I'll show you that as well when I go through the calculator skills. But you have to show this setup anyways. You have to show your substitution even if you use the calculator. If you don't show that plugging in, that substitution, you won't get full credit for it. So thinking about our algebra, we want to solve for p. First thing I'm going to do here is take away 1 from each side. So 28 is equal to 2p. Then I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. So 14 is equal to p and then put it into context. That's the 14th pattern. Right? Think about units or context for this. I needed 21 matchsticks above to build the 10th pattern, but here, with 29 matchsticks, I can build the 14th pattern. So again, you have to show your working and your substitution, and make sure you're using any units that you might um, need here, such as matchsticks or balloons or bricks or whatever the case might be for what they're building patterns out of.